Thanks for joining us in the garden today. We are joined by Rosanna from Grange Co-op. We're talking everything bulbs. And honestly, looking at the pictures from what a bulb actually is, I don't know how we get from here to there. So how do we even get here in the first place? Well, um, that's good. I can totally explain to you the process. Uh, so these are all considered fall bulbs. Um, I have some irises here, some crocus, hyacinth, uh, narcissus, and tulips. So even though they're called fall bulbs, you're actually just planting them in the fall so that you have um, some beautiful flowers growing in the springtime. To plant bulbs, it's really important to pick which ones that you'd like, obviously just depending on you know what you wanna see come up in your garden. I really like to recommend people pick uh, taller bulbs for the back and then kind of go, it's nice to do a little tier down to where you're getting your taller flowers in the back, then getting a little shorter and shorter and shorter and so forth. Kind of have the different levels to yeah. it. Yeah, and you know, um, again, it's all just based on however you personally like uh, your garden to look. I like to mix it up, throw a bunch of different bulbs in. It's also important to keep your bulbs in their bag <clears throat> because they all can look, look very similar. So you really wanna make sure that you're keeping your bulbs with your tags so that you know what colors are going where. Um, you know, if you're trying to do a certain design or color scheme. So how long will the whole process take? Bulbs are really easy. Basically, you just wanna make sure you start with some uh, really good soil. So you'll want to amend your soil if it's hard. Um, do a good compost or mulch, kind of dig it in a little bit and then start planting your bulbs. So I like to start by just uh, sometimes doing like a line in the, in the soil. Um, you wanna plant your bulbs ideally twice as deep as the bulb is big. So as you can see, some bulbs are larger, some are smaller. So the larger bulbs are gonna take a little bit deeper um, where the smaller ones, you can do them a little closer to the surface. Um, I always like to do a good fertilizer uh, when you're planting, just gives the bulbs some good nutrients over the long winter while they're kind of brewing under the soil and getting ready to pop up. Um, put them in the ground, cover them up a few inches deep with soil, make sure that you give them a good watering and you're pretty much good to go. Um, and then in the springtime, you'll start having your little tiny little tiny babies coming up and you know by uh, March or April you'll have beautiful flowers again. Perfect and beautiful flowers at that I mean I obviously know tulips and they're gorgeous flowers so people kind of just set it forget it and then come yeah. springtime you have beautiful flowers. Yep a good thing to keep in mind when you're handling bulbs is um, they can give off a little bit of an allergic reaction make your skin a little itchy which is never fun um, so just make sure after you handle your bulbs that you do a good hand washing so that you don't get rashy. Thank you. And thanks for joining us today in the garden. For more information, you can head to our website, kdrv.com. Just search for in the garden. We'll have more in our next episode.